The American Kennel Association released their stats on the most popular dog breeds in the United States. And not surprisingly, some all-time favorites top the list. The top 10 is full of the usual lovable suspects, from the Labrador Retriever to the Bulldog. In fact, the Labrador Retriever took the most popular spot for the 28th year in a row. But for all those common, popular breeds, there are the dog breeds that seem to drift into obscurity, and in some cases are on the brink of extinction. In this video, we have listed the 10 least popular dog breeds in the United States. Number 10. Cerneco del Etna, recognized in 2015. This breed is old. In fact, coins made as long as 500 BC from Segesta in Sicily depict dogs that resemble the modern Cerneco del Etna. There's even an old legend that says a thousand of these dogs guarded a temple of Adranos, a fire god. The dogs had a divine ability to find and attack any thieves or non-believers who approached while keeping devout pilgrims to the temple safe and at peace. Before 1932, the breed was mostly unknown outside of their homeland of Sicily. Number 9. Finnish Spitz Recognized in 1960 the Finnish Spitz has the distinction of being the national dog of Finland, where this ancient hunting breed is still used to hunt a wide variety of game. In Finland, he's known as the Swomen Pistakorva, which means Finnish pricked ear dog, and he can't compete there for a show title until he has proved himself in hunting trials. He's also been called the Finnish barking bird dog because of his unique hunting habits. And in England, he's known as Finsk Spets. In 1891, the name was officially changed to Finnish Spitz, and the nickname Finky became popular after the dog's arrival in England in the 1920s. Number 8. Chesky Terrier, recognized in 2011. The result of a cross between a Scottish Terrier and a Celium Terrier, with the goal of creating a dog that could go after vermin without getting stuck in their dens, the Chesky was created in 1948 in what was then Czechoslovakia. Mellower than most Terriers, the Chesky needs moderate amounts of exercise. And unlike many Terriers, he has the advantage of a soft coat. Loving and devoted, he's also active enough to compete in earth dog trials, agility, obedience, and tracking. The Chesky is also a successful therapy dog. He gets along well with children and other pets, especially if he's raised with them. Number 7. American Foxhound, recognized in 1886. When you see fox hunters in movies or on television, or out in the field if you live in hunt country, packs of American foxhounds are leading the chase. Or perhaps you were introduced to the breed through Rita Mae Brown's Mrs. Murphy series, set in Virginia hunt country with a number of American foxhounds as key characters. This rare breed still lives and works the way its ancestors did when they came to this country more than 200 years ago. Bred to hunt in large packs, American foxhounds were developed from hounds brought by English settlers who adapted them to suit the game and terrain of their new land. Number 6. Berga Moscow Shepherd, recognized in 2015. Enthusiasts have traced back the origins of the Bergamasco sheepdogs, or Bergamaski, to the Middle East up to 7,000 years ago. Some believe the dog descended from Gaelic herder breed, the Briard. Italian fans of the breed, however, point out that if the breed traveled west from the Middle East, they would have to hit Italy first. The breed earned its name from the Italian city of Bergamo, up in the Alps, where its flocked coat helped keep these dogs safe from the mountain's harsh conditions. The breed started to diminish in Italy Italy after World War II, but breed enthusiasts worked to keep the ancient breed stable. Number 5. English Foxhound, recognized in 1909. The English Foxhound was developed in England to pursue the Red Fox. He has been listed in stud books published by the British Masters of Foxhound Association since the 18th century. During their history, there have been more than 250 packs of English Foxhounds in Great Britain. The breed has been in America for at least as long as it has existed. Lord Fairfax brought the first pack to this country in 1738, and those dogs contributed to the development of the American Foxhound. The two breeds differ in that the English Foxhound tend to be stouter than his sleek American cousin. Number 4. Harrier, recognized in 1885. 
There are several conflicting stories about how the Harrier breed came to be. The word Harrier was Norman French and meant hound or dog. With that connection, the best guess may be that the earliest Harrier-type dogs descended from a cross of bloodhounds, Talbot hounds, and perhaps even Basset hounds, all of which had their origins in what are now France and Belgium. Originally, these packs were used to hunt hare, with the hunters following on foot, so at that time, they were a much slower and more methodical type of hound than today's Harriers. When fox hunting became fashionable with the hunters on horses, Harriers were adapted to have more speed. Number 3. Chinook Recognized in 2013 Created in the White Mountains of New Hampshire, the Chinook dog breed made its name on Admiral Byrd's first Antarctic expedition in 1928. These days, they're multi-purpose dogs who are happy hiking, competing in agility and other dog sports, pulling a sled or other conveyance. Chinooks are generally sensitive and gentle dogs with a pleasant demeanor. They're exceptionally smart and loving with their family members, including kids and other dogs. Number two, Norwegian Lundahund recognized in 2018. Also known as the Puffin Dog, this unique and acrobatic canine was discovered on a remote island in Norway, where he was used to scale cliffs and rob puffin nests of their eggs. With six toes on each foot, including two large functional dew claws and an exceptional range of motion in his joints, he can climb just about anywhere in your house or yard and squirm through the narrowest of passageways. Cheerful, inquisitive, and mischievous, this is a dog who needs close supervision to keep him out of trouble. Number one, Slugi, recognized in 2016. This lean, leggy sighthound likes his comforts, especially soft bedding and ideally access to the furniture. Noble and haughty in demeanor, he's affectionate with his own people but aloof towards strangers. He gets along with older children who understand how to interact with dogs but isn't a good match for a family with young kids. Slugies are sleek, clean, and quiet, but their stubborn hound nature can make them a poor choice for a first-time dog owner. These adorable, distinctive breeds are pretty rare, which accounts for their lack of popularity more than anything else, of course. But if you're lucky enough to come across one of these breeds, who knows, you might just fall in love. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Which is your favorite dog breed? Let us know in the comments. Here are some other cool videos I know you'll enjoy. See you guys later.